Okay. Tour. What are some other vocab words for tour? Tour. Trip. Travel. Adventure. Okay, so we're going on an adventure, on a trip, on a tour, on a journey. We get groups that come in. Um, they come and they normally study with us for a week or two first. And then after the second week or the first week, we put them on a bus. They go along the garden route, visiting Titsukama, visiting the ostriches, the Kango, Kango caves, up to the, um, the safaris, uh, up in the Addo to visit the elephants, Jeffrey's Bay to see the surfing with a teacher. So they're combining their English lessons with a teacher whilst on a bus. Two sentences. Two sentences. So capital letter, full stop, capital letter, full stop using as many of these words as you can in a good sentence. I don't want a rubbish sentence, okay? It's not, we saw foam, a toll road, seals and a sundowner. <laughs> this is not a good sentence. I want some imagination. Work with your friend. I'll drink so long. Three minutes. Our Three teachers minutes. are of world class, CELTA and DELTA teachers that the quality of teaching in International House Cape Town is of the best quality. International House Cape Town almost has kind of, it's a three-pronged approach. So you've got your teaching, which happens in the morning and the afternoon, or the afternoon, whatever the student chooses. There are the organized tours that International House organizes, which are obviously in English. Um, then there is operating in the world, outside, which is also by default in English. And what is also so amazing, really, is that South Africa itself is a multilingual country. Although the dominant language is English in Cape Town, is that we have many different English accents out on the street. And the biggest problem that so many students face is, is listening is that they can speak, they can read, often they're able to write, but to understand what somebody is saying to them is the most challenging thing. So the great thing they get here is a bunch of accents being thrown at them, um, both in terms of inside the class and out in the streets, um, which they, they, they have to deal with. And it, it makes my life a breeze. I come from Switzerland. I come from Gabon. Uh, from Japan. I come from Angola. From Brazil. It is incredible to see the difference between someone when they first arrive and when they go home. Um, I had a wonderful experience of, of a student who came and I remember the first day she walked into my level 4 class. She, she, she tried to express herself and it just didn't want to come out. It just didn't want to happen. And then um, she left two months later and you couldn't stop her talking in English. I have choice Cape Town because it's, it's every day beautiful and nice. The teachers is very, very, very wonderful. Many, many activities and I like I have a big program. And I chose Cape Town because it's Africa and it's my dream. International House Cape Town is in such a wonderful area of Sea Point. Close to the sea, close to the shops, the restaurants. The accommodation is all within walking distance. Our students love being in this area. They don't have to travel anywhere. It's a lovely, fantastic uh, destination. The staff that we have here are top quality staff, friendly, exciting. They love to make you happy when you come to Cape Town. The 
Cape of Storms is often what this place is called. So that lighthouse there was to protect the ships, but they built it in the wrong place. Quality of education, quality of life in terms of we have sunshine, even when it's not sunshine, the weather is pretty decent. The exchange rate is good, we speak a good English, we are welcoming. There are many cultures. Well, come see for yourself. As a destination international house, Cape Town, it's such a wonderful place to come and visit and learn English that I promise you, once you've been here once and studied and traveled with us, you will certainly not want to go anywhere else ever again. <laughs>